Hi, I'm Sophia Thomas, president of the American Association of Nurse Practitioners. I'm so proud to share with you the good news that the COVID-19 relief package that was passed by the House and the Senate was signed into law by the president just moments ago. It contains critical resources that will truly strengthen healthcare for our patients and help ensure the safety of healthcare professionals on the front lines of the COVID-19 crisis. The legislation signed today expands seniors' access to home health care services. The new law authorizes NPs nationwide to certify and recertify home health care services for Medicare patients, helping seniors get health care where they need it the most, at home. We send our thanks to the President and to Congress for making this day possible. And we thank congressional leaders who have supported this policy for many years, including the lead Senate sponsors, Senators Susan Collins, Ben Cardin, as well as Leader Chuck Schumer, and in the House of Representatives, Representative Jan Schakowsky, Buddy Carter, Ron Kind, Mike Kelly, Susan Wild, David Joyce, and Greg Walden. Beyond the home health authorization, the stimulus package signed into law today provides extensive resources and funding for additional personal protective equipment for our nation's healthcare workers who are on the front lines of fighting COVID-19 every day and so desperately need the PPE. As we've seen on all the news in the past weeks, there is a massive, massive shortage of gloves, masks, gowns, and other protective equipment that keep healthcare professionals safe while caring for and treating patients who are infected with COVID-19. By making this massive investment in resources, we are reducing the risk of spreading the disease. Today is an important day for all Americans. Thank you to NPs for using your voice to protect patients and to expand healthcare access to our nation's seniors. Thank you to all of our healthcare colleagues for working to protect the health of our nation. And thank you to our nation's leaders for coming together to make this day possible. Stay safe and be well.